head of state in court. Haiti is underdeveloping because of an alien system on our people now. Kudia was born on 15 October 1938 in Abakuda, Ogun State, in Nigeria. His mother, Chief Fumaleo Kuti, was an anti-colonial feminist, and his father, Reverend Oludotun Kuti, was an Anglican minister, school principal, and the first president of the Nigeria Union of Teachers. He had two brothers who were doctors Bako Kuti and Olakoye Kuti. Fela was a cousin of Wol Soyhinka, the Nobel Prize for Literature. Fela studied at the Abek Huda Grammar School. In 1958, he was sent to London to study medicine, but he pursued his passion of music at the Trinity College of Music. Meanwhile, he also created the band Kula Labidos, which had a style that combined jazz and highlight. In 1960, Fela married his first wife, Remy Taylor, with whom he had three children, Femi, Yeni, and Sola Cutie. In 1963, he returned to Nigeria with the Kula Labido, and he became a radio producer for the Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation. He played for some time with Victor Olia and his all-stars. In 1967, Cutie traveled to Ghana looking for a new musical direction, even though he knew his profound love for traditional Yoruba music. After discovering his styling, he named his style Afrobeat, a combination of high life, Funk, jazz, salsa, calypso, and traditional Yoruba music. In 1969, Cutie went to the U.S. in Los Angeles for 10 months, thought he was playing a lot of his jazz-influenced music, and his lyrics were less militant. After learning about the Black Power movement through Sandra Smith, who will become Fela's lover, he renamed the band Nigeria 70. They were deported but they recorded the 69 Los Angeles sessions as a performance album. They returned to Nigeria, the group was renamed the Africa 70 as lyrical themes changed from love to social issues with a militant stand. He formed the Calicuta Republic, a commune, recording studio, and home for many people connected to the band. Fela set up a nightclub in the Empire Hotel, first named the Afro Spot and later the Africa Shrine, where he both performed regularly and officiated at personalized Yoruba traditional ceremonies in honor of his nation's ancestral faith. He also changed his name to Anakilapo, meaning he who carries death in his pouch. As a nickname, Fela's music was popular among the Nigerian public and Africans because of his Pan-African stand. Dot as soon as he started buzzing in Nigeria and around the world, Fela started to be hated by the government. In 1977, Fela and Africa 70 released the album Zombie which heavily criticized Nigerian soldiers and used the zombie metaphor to describe the Nigerian military's methods. The album was a massive success and infuriated the government, who raided the Calicuta Republic with 1,000 soldiers. During the raid, Cutie was severely beaten and his elderly mother was fatally injured after being thrown from a window. The commune was burnt down and Fela's studio, instruments and master tapes were destroyed. Fela's response to the attack was to deliver his mother's coffin to the Dodden Barracks in Lagos, General Olosegun Obasanjo's residence, and to write two songs, Coffin for Head of State and Unknown Soldier, referencing the official inquiry that claimed an unknown soldier had destroyed the commune. Fela and his band took up residence in Crossroads Hotel after the shrine had been destroyed along with the commune. In 1978, he married 27 women, because Fela believed that a man should not go outside for women he needs in his house. There were also two concerts in the year. The first was in Accra, in which rioting broke out during the song Zombie, which caused Cutie to be banned from entering Ghana. In 1983, Fela formed his political party, which he called Movement of the People, MOP, to clean up society like a mop. MOP preached Ankrumism and Africanism. In 1979, he nominated himself for president in Nigeria's first elections in decades, but his candidature was refused. At this time, Fela created a new band, Egypt 80, which reflected the view that Egyptian civilization, knowledge, philosophy, mathematics, and religious systems are African and must be claimed as such. Cutie stated in an interview, 
stressing the point that I have to make Africans aware of the fact that Egyptian civilization belongs to the African. So that was the reason why I changed the name of my band to Egypt 80. Fela continued to record albums and tour the country. He further infuriated the political establishment by implicating ITT Corporation's vice president, Mashid Abiola and Obasanjo in the popular 25-minute political screed entitled ITT International Thief Thief. In 1984, Muhammadu Buhari's government, of which Qudi was a vocal opponent, jailed him on a charge of currency smuggling. Amnesty International and others denounced the charges as politically motivated. Amnesty designated him a prisoner of conscience, and other human rights groups also took up his case. After 20 months, General Ibrahim Babangida released him from prison. On his release, Fela divorced his 12 remaining wives, citing marriage brings jealousy and selfishness. Fela continued to release albums with Egypt 80 and toured in the United States and Europe while continuing to be politically active. In 1986, he performed in Giant Stadium in New Jersey as part of Amnesty International's A Conspiracy of Hope concert along with Bono, Carlos Santana, and the Neville Brothers. In 1989, Fela and Egypt 80 released the anti-apartheid album Beasts of No Nation that depicted U.S. President Ronald Reagan, U.K. Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, and South African State President Pieter Willem Botha on its cover. The title of the composition evolved out of a statement by Botha. This uprising against the apartheid system will bring out the beast in us. Fela's album output slowed in the 1990s, and eventually, he ceased releasing albums altogether. On 21 January 1993, he and four members of Africa 70 were arrested and were later charged on 25 January for the murder of an electrician. Rumors also speculated that he was suffering from an illness for which he was refusing treatment. However, there had been no confirmed statement from Fela about this speculation. On 3 August 1997, Fela's brother Olikoi Akuti, already a prominent AIDS activist and former Minister of Health, announced Fela's death the day before from complications related to AIDS. <laughs> Fela had been an AIDS denialist, and his widow maintained that he did not die of AIDS. More than one million people attended Fela's funeral at the site of the old shrine compound. Supervised by his son Femi, his youngest son Sun took the role of leading Fela's former band Egypt 80. As of 2020, the band is still active, releasing music under the moniker Sun Fela and Egypt 80 during his lifetime. Fela had such an impressive career as a musician. As we know, Afrobeats mix multiple genres of music. However, one of the most essential pieces is the percussion. Tony Allen was the percussionist that helped to mold that Afrobeat sound. Fela once stated that there would be no Afrobeat without Tony Allen. Fela's band was notable for featuring two baritone saxophones, when most groups only used one. As Fela graphic designer said, Fela was a big fan of John Coltrane. He could talk to you while playing John Coltrane Partition. We could also notice that Fela Music has been inspired by the mast of funk James Brown on his way of dancing and the rhythm of funk music. Some elements often present in Fela's music are the call and response within the chorus and figurative but simple lyrics. We can see the similarity in Cuban rumba. On some recordings, his songs are divided into two parts, part one being the instrumental and part two adding in vocals. Fela's songs are mostly sung in Nigerian Pidgin English, although he also performed a few songs in the Yoruba language. His main instruments were the saxophone and the keyboards. Fela was known for his showmanship and his concerts were often outlandish and wild. He referred to his stage act as the underground spiritual game. Fela was part of an Afrocentric consciousness movement that was founded on and delivered through his music. Fela is remembered as an influential icon who voiced his opinions on matters that affected the nation through his music. In 1999, Universal Music France, 
under Francis Kurtikian, remastered the 45 albums that it owned and released them on 26 compact discs. The 2007 film The Visitor, the film features clips of cuties. In 2008, an off-Broadway production of Cutie's Life, entitled Fella, that was inspired by the 1982 book Fella, 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 son of Cutie. It's a door to die to go. Tell him to go kill him. Door to die to go. No brain, no job, no sense. Door to die to go. Go and kill him. Go and die. The Fall of Calicuta is a stage play written by Ani Kaba Cornel Best in 2010. The Afrobeat scene always gives Fella his flower for being pioneer of the genre. However, Burna Boy calls him the goat because of his value and charisma. We can notice many similarities in Burna choice of beats, even though he calls his style Afrofusion. You can hear a similar singing pattern. Fella will remain to be in the memory of every African and African descent. These are 10 of most popular Fella songs. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe.